Well, this is the 1910 Bischoff Brothers steam engine, which is most likely an institutional engine or a model engine demonstration for institutional school or something like that, I think. It's got a spring-loaded slide, which runs against the plate of the outer cover, which had to be adjusted and set. It has a governor with a fulcrum, and the fulcrum here is quite delicate, but it works quite well. It has a rod piston here that has a hole inside the rod which rotates when the governor balls move up, closing off the entrance of steam. Now, it was set up with the hole at the wrong angle when I got it, so it wasn't running due to that as well as the springs weren't loaded on here at all. Um, I also had to lubricate it up, but it's still quite a high power demand engine. I'm going to have to go in and take a look at the piston and see if the ring is sealed. Um, might have to put a silicone piston in there, a uh, piston ring. But I do have silicone O-rings now, which have gotten some bulk quite a bit. So I do have to do the gland nuts as well. There's not really anything in this one, and I have to do something about this one as well. So I'll dig up some uh, yarn for that and graphite it. It has a really nice bevel gear governor mechanic uh, piece there. But it's going to have to be remounted as it was broken off here, I think. And then somebody tried to solder it. And here's the original mounting screw. So it is moving quite a bit on there. You can see the solder. But I can do that with silver solder if I want, or else I'll retap it and try to fix that properly before running it at any great power. It has keys, but it has flat spots on the shafts. It doesn't have actual uh, double D grooves for the keys. So I do have to be a little bit careful that way. Very impressively made. We'll need a lot of fine tuning. I think it's mostly been a display model for a long time, so. We'll get working on it, and we will do some research on the bolts and that kind of thing. I think it might be even the Bischoffs were Dusseldorf or Eastern Germany, I'm not sure. But we'll definitely dig into this engine this week and get some more video of it. it took almost two months to get here from Germany. You can imagine the nail biting involved in that.